Hey, it's Joe Lyons from the Audubiner, and I have a couple additions to my Excel function library. And um, if you're not familiar with it, you can go to this URL above here, and let me show you the page. Uh, let's come over here. Uh, this is where that'll lead you to. And um, on here I have, it looks like 50 direct um, tutorials with very specific things on Excel. Um, and then there's a couple of there down here at the bottom, uh, other things that are just demonstrating how powerful Excel not a hotkey is. Uh, but the very top one here, this, this free download, this is the Excel function library I mentioned. Um, I'm adding a couple things to it that I think are, are you know, helpful and just good additions. And uh, there's probably been some minor tweaks over the last couple of years that I didn't go out and publish because they were just minor things. So uh, those will probably be incorporated as well. But let me get into the functions. So if you go to a given file in Explorer, there we go here, and I was to right, here's an Excel file, I'm gonna right click it and go to property. Actually, let me see, I'm curious. When it moused over here, I'm using directory uh, opus. So there, right there, it actually has the author's name, the title, the subject, uh, comments, um, and date modified, those things. But we're gonna go in here and go to properties. And here we'll see them also, the title, my life, subject. Now what's interesting is I can't in most of these, I don't, or maybe not any of them, I can't change them here, right? Um, and you could come in here and I think I have one where we use, um, some sort of technology within Windows to go grab a lot of uh, values and, and of this type of metadata. And it, it, some of these things are probably available. What I wanted to demonstrate with this Excel function is how you can grab them. And, and also where, let me show you real quickly here in Excel, let me bring them over because it's not obvious. So you go to here to file. Uh, by the way, this was a, an auction I was ripping from a website and dumping in here and then automating, looking up uh, the VIN numbers and this and that with all without a hotkey. It's really cool. Uh, anyway, go to file to info and here you'll see, okay, here is my file. And notice I can type in here, right? I can update this. So that will, oop, tile, what doesn't matter, title. Um, the tags, now there are some missing what you can do is click this show all properties and then you'll see the other things. Like here's the categories, the status, I don't know, my status. Uh, there's a template, which I'm not sure. Oh, it looks like for whatever reason, that's probably automated on what it's built off of. If you use one of the default templates, uh, these tags, you can come in here and type in here and the comments. These are, these are of course, are, this is what was kind of hard for me to track down because they're not the normal comments you think about in Excel, but you can add them here. Um, and some, here's a subject. So these are things you could use. Now let's go ahead and show, I'll go ahead and save that. And that's that, and let's get this out of the way. So here I'm calling the function. Uh, I have to get, of course, get a handle to the, the file, the active file. Oh, you know what, I can't close it. Let me go open it back up because right now I'm assuming it's open. We could write it in a way that would go get the file and open it for us, but that's not part of the thing. So it's the open file. And that's what this first one does here is, is get handle to active Excel file. So that's gonna store it here and it's gonna store the application. And then we pass it to this Excel properties function that I've created. Let me jump to it. So here's where we've added it. And um, what I do is I create an object just for storing the data. And then we're going to loop over each of these, this active workbook properties, and we're going to store them in key value pairs into my object. And I'll use the, the name as the key and the value as the property, right? So it's going to loop it all. And then it's going to return that object. And that's why when we come back to our script, uh, I store that here in props. And then of course, because it's an object, we can't, just put it in a message box. We have to loop over the item. So I do a, a, a for loop here. So um, 4K in V, so, so for key in value in props. Um, and we're gonna display them here in the message box, each one. Um, or, you know what I could do? Let's do it this way. Um, we'll say, we're, instead of doing that, we'll do data, colon equals. And then here, always remember, put a, a new line at the end um, and that way, they're gonna put them on their own line. So I'm gonna save this, reload it, and run it. Is it running? Come on. Oh, I'm, I forgot to um, actually throw up a message box. So message box data. Let's try it again. There we go. So the key 
the application, um, oh, sorry, the key is application name, value is Microsoft. Oh, okay, so you know what? Since I'm putting those in new lines, let's put a couple of tabs here. Before, I was showing them one at a time, which was annoying, but um, it, it allowed it to, to easily see them. Now we've, we've kind of broke them out. The tabs are sort of working for us. But see, these are all the keys. And now that we know the keys are here, we don't need uh, the word key or value in there. But let's just leave it for this for now, because I'm going to show you one other thing we can do. Um, so the key is Microsoft Excel. Oh, sorry, the name is Microsoft Excel. The author is Joe. The comments just adding some comments. Anyway, you get the idea, right? We can get get all the stuff. However, if you have like Maestria's M function, and this is what I would do, is I would not do this or this, um, and I would just use Maestria's M function. Props, and there's a lot of other functions for peeking inside objects, but this is one I use a lot. Because um, it puts it all here, and I happen to know it's props dot application, you know, props dot author, Props.comments, props.keywords. So actually that's interesting is there's a space in here, which just means when you go to access that, you'd have to plan around that. Um, last author, that's interesting. So author and last author, um, but you get the idea, right? These are some cool properties in that file. And we could write a script to go over, you know, all the Excel files and get all the, let's say tags or categories right, and group them and, and build a little database for ourselves to organize, help organize our files. So uh, these are going to be in this Excel file. Um, I'm going to add this one. I'm going to, in a separate video, just so people don't have to watch them both together, I'm going to do the other one with paths, and uh, that'll be up there when you get to see this video. Cheers.